Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Kerry and I love reviewing makeup, especially eyeshadow palettes and playing with new makeup and diving into older makeup as well. And today I am so excited because Gone Mom Girls Cosmetics have come out with their Halloween release and it is a palette called Spooked. If you don't know, Gone Mom Girls Cosmetics are an amazing indie brand based in the US. This palette was gifted to me in PR, so thank you so much to Christina, who is the owner of Gone Mom Girls Cosmetics. I have got reviews of their previous palettes on my channel if you want to check those out. I am so excited for this one. Currently, as I'm filming this, people don't know what it looks like. There's only been a few shade reveals, so I'm so excited to dive into this. I've already swatched it, so I'm going to insert the swatches and the close-ups for you now. Now, because I'm filming this in advance, I don't know all the finer details yet. I don't know how much this is going to retail for, and I can't remember the exact date that it is going to launch, but I will have all that information for you in the description box down below, or I'll put it on screen if I know at the time of editing, because I do plan to do more than one look with this palette. The outer packaging is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I like anything that's like this and orangey and a bit. It's just perfect for the spooky season. I just, I really, really like it. And I like it when Gorman Girls does palettes in this shape. That really makes me happy. So the outer packaging is exactly the same. The little outer sleeve, which I really, really like. Palettes that are the shape do come with the sleeves like this and I just think it looks super cute. I really like the design. Now this is a collaboration between Gourmand Girls and Doodles by the Bunny so I will link both down below so you can check them out. I think they did a fantastic job with this palette so congratulations to both of them. And I do have a code with Gourmand Girls and it is Kerry so if you use that at checkout you will get some money off and that is affiliated so if you do use that thank you so much for supporting my channel. Now let's talk about the inside of this beautiful palette. Okay when I opened this I was like spooky season. This is spot on. I am so happy with this. I have a number of looks planned in my mind. I don't know how many I'm actually going to be able to film before I want to get this video up, but the first shade that actually spoke to me, no, no. If you've been here before, you'll be thinking it was the green, although that is absolutely delicious. It was actually the shade Treat. I was looking at it like it's, it is a purple, but it's kind of like got a dark blue in there as well. Like Mine's a bit bashed up now because I've swatched it, but I really like that shade. So I want to be using that for my first look. So today I'm feeling we're going to be going with the purples. So there are 14 shades in this palette and six of them are shimmers. So it's slightly more matte heavy, which makes me very, very happy. We have a matte white. We have a matte black. Need I say more? Need I say more? We have also got some lovely bright pops of colour and it's giving me so many spooky vibes, especially the little indentations. Absolutely love those. If you saw those in the close-up, they are a bit smooch now, like I say, because I have swatched it, but the little pumpkins, the little bats, the little cobwebs, I like little touches like that. And I just think the whole packaging, nice little mirror, I just think it's super, super cute. This is exactly the type of palette that I want for a spooky season. Okay, I'm going to be priming with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base and then we're going to get into these looks because I can't wait to test out this palette. The swatches were beautiful and especially the shimmers. It was just a one swipe and it was absolutely incredible. It didn't really need building up or anything and I don't swatch with primer on my arm or anything like that. It's just bare skin and I was so, so impressed. But I need to remember to shut up because this is not going to be a one look video and I don't want it to be super long. So... Let me blend out this primer and we'll get into the first look. I think I'm going to start out with the shade Cauldron, which is the gorgeous deep purple. And I'm going to pop this in the outer corner and kind of just above my crease area. Do I have a plan? No, I sort of know the colours that I want to use, but as far as plans go, not so much. Okay, so that shade is applying really, really nicely. Like, for a deep purple that has gone on so nicely and pigmented, I 
love that I want to keep this look quite moody and dramatic and spooky so I don't really want to use too many light shades I want to keep it very dramatic and deep so I'm just going to keep working with this purple and kind of I'm going to blend it out until I've got the shape that I want okay so that is kind of how I'm wanting it to look now this is just that purple shade I've kind of built it up quite a lot in the crease area and then just blended it out the further out and up that we get and I'm liking how that is looking then I'm going to go into a little bit of the black okay it's me I need to go into a little bit of the black and it's called spooky I don't know why I'm showing you it because it's black eyeshadow you know what black eyeshadow looks like and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just pop that in the very wow that's pigmented just be careful very outer corner just for that extra bit of little depth I mean I really don't think that wasn't good grammar I really don't think that we needed to use the black but considering I'm testing these shadows I am wanting to use them as much as I can okay that black is very pigmented and I love a pigmented black some people don't like a pigmented black that appears very black straight away they like a buildable black but just go in lightly with that one if you are scared of black okay and then for the very inner corner I'm going to go in with the shade Ghoul which is the matte white I am so happy there is a matte white and black in this palette like oh let's just pack that in the inner corner wow with whites especially matte whites like this I do like to pack rather than go in and try and blend it just gives off the most pigment and that is exactly what I was wanting from this shade that has not disappointed me at all <sighs> look at it I'm just gonna have this white leading into that purple and bearing in mind I've used all these dark shades I've had no fallout how's that happening I might just take a little bit of that white ghoul shade and just take the tiniest little bit to go around the very edges of this purple then of course I am going to continue that purple cauldron shade on the lower lash line to meet up with the white okay then I'm going to take the shade tree which is the absolutely stunning shimmery purple here I'm just going to pop on a little bit of glitter glue first this is the NYX one everything that I'm wearing on my face and using will be in the description box down below oh I knew this was going to be my favorite shade as soon as I opened the palette it is a purple but I can see blue in it and blurple and it looks incredible on the eye I'm just gonna blend it into both mattes on either side and just keep it a quite relaxed cut crease type of situation okay I am obsessed with how this is looking let me do the finishing touches for look number one and then I'll come back and show you and we can get into look number two So guys, this is the finished look and I have to say, I love it. It's not often I do a look like this, especially using a black lip. This is a shout out to you, Heather, my lovely friend that loves black lipstick. I have finally dug out my Melt lipstick in the shade Bane and I have black lips for today. It went on really nice. I feel like it's got a lot of staying power just from trying to glide it on. I mean, it's not transfer proof, but still we're rocking the black lip and I do have some tiny little bats let me try and show you I have some tiny little bats with a little bit of sparkle on them now for the bats I've actually put it away hold on I did just freehand the bats with my ABH liquid liner because it's fantastic it's one of the best liquid liners look I don't know if they're the best looking bats in the entire world but I just thought it was nice adding a little bit of sparkle around them I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera how well that the sparkle is there but I did just put a little bit of my W7 a metal flash liner this is the silver one I will have it linked down below don't actually know if it's got the name on it 
Glam Bam. I feel like the name is Glam Bam, but yeah, I just dotted a little bit of that around the little bats. Look, if it's going to be spooky themed and Halloween themed, then I'm going to make an effort. I've got bats on my eyes. Look, I'm not going to talk about this side because it's not as good as this side. So <laughs> pictures are going to be done from this angle, let me tell you now. But yeah, we have bats and it was the ABH Liquid Liner, my W7 Metal Flash. The lashes will be linked down below. They're just a set I got from Sheen. They are some She Glam lashes. And I did line my lips with the Influencer Overnight Eyeliner Pencil in black. And for my waterline, I've got my P. Louise and Mitchell Acid Rain Paint in Ibiza because I love the shade for the waterline. And it's purple and it just kind of tied in nicely. I really like how this looks come together. I really like my new hat from Primark, just in case you're wondering. Um, look. Don't tell me that I can't pull this hat off because I love it, okay? And I just feel like it goes with the aesthetic that I'm going for today. And I do believe if you're wondering, the choker was from Sheen a while ago. If I can somehow find this again, I will have it linked down below. Like I say, I'll try and link as much as I possibly can, but please let me know what you think to this look. I really, really like that purple shimmer. I'm not disappointed. As soon as I opened the palette, like I say, that was the one that spoke to me and I knew I had to use it first. And I'm really glad that I did because look how pretty it is. So guys, that's look number one. Let's jump into look number two. Okay guys, so for look number two, if you haven't guessed by the background of my top, we're gonna to be going red. Uh, how can we not do red Halloween, you know, come on. So I'm thinking, I really like the look of the shade Terror. I might deepen it up with a bit of Fright. I really like the look of this bloody pink. I mean, it's called bloody. It, I'm not describing it as bloody. The shade bloody that is sort of a pink, sparkly, ready, pinky deliciousness I don't know I might go into some more of the why I I don't know all I know is I want to do some red okay so we're gonna go into the red which is called terror and I'm kind of just gonna stick this on because I want a lot of red in this look I'm just so pleased with the color story of this palette I just feel like it is so spooky it's so fall Halloween I am very happy ah oh, Look at that red, that is so nice. That has packed on so nicely. I am obsessed with that shade, wow. And then I'm just gonna kind of, let me clean off my brush a little bit. And then I want to just wiggle over the edges of this red, just to start on some sort of blend. This red is blending out so nicely. <sighs> and I have no fallout, like. This makes me very happy, very early on a Tuesday morning, let me tell you now. When you have no issues with the shade and it just goes on and it does what you want it to do, I mean, yes. Okay, I have left the front portion sort of bare because I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. Maybe going in with the white, who knows? But I think next I want to go in with the shade Fright, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Fright shade just to deepen it up in the outer corner and maybe just run it a little bit through the crease. Oh, that is nice. I mean, I could have gone in with the black to deepen it up, but I think this will work really nicely. I really like how that that is looking and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the white. I can't not. I'm going to go back into Ghoul and I want to pop that in the inner corner just because I do really like a white matte inner corner. Now this one might not be as typical Halloween-y as my previous look. But not everybody likes that. Not everybody wants bats on their eyes and deep purple. Some people might just want to use red. They might be going to a Halloween party or they just want to do the makeup for Halloween and they might want something like this. Who knows? Okay, so I am going to go into the shade Bloody, which is the sparkly pink, and I'm going to stick this all over the lid. Okay, I have just popped on some NYX Glitter Glue first. And then we're going to go in with... Oh, the shade bloody which looks so reflective like I'm not bothered that this is pulling pink at all I think it goes so nicely on top of the red and it 
it doesn't keep it too monochromatic then but it will pull the whole look toward the pink side of things but it's still sultry halloweeny vampy pop of pink that looks so good like i'm so impressed with that shade i didn't think i was like that is so reflective and sparkly oh that makes me very happy I might just pop a little bit on the lower lash line oh yes definitely i haven't used any glitter glue or anything down here i'm just popping it straight on but Oh, the shade. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of the red mattes and just tap over the edges of that shimmer just to make sure it looks like it's supposed to be there and they're just leading into one another nicely. Still can't get over that shimmer. Still cannot get over it. Let me finish up the rest of my makeup for this look and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, this is finished look number two and I love it. I love how it turned out. I had to put my hat back on. Obviously it's beautiful. Let me tell you the extra things that I used. I did line my lips with the Saint Lux lip liner in Crush and then I did go in the very center with a bit more of a pinky lip just to match the eye. It's the Fenty liquid lipstick in, what is this in? Unlocked. So it's a bit red, it's a bit pink. It matches the eyes. I also did use my black eyeliner pencil from my Influencer Overnight collection. Like I say, everything will be linked down below. It was the same lashes as yesterday. And what we're we thinking, what we're we thinking to this overall look. I really like how it's come together. It's a lot less red than I was thinking it was gonna be, but that is because I paired it with the pink shimmer. If you want this to lean more red and stay red, don't use anything pink, otherwise it will pull more that way. But as you could see from the beginning, that was a very nice red matte. I am really happy with how this has come out. I still think it's quite spooky, Halloween-y, but on the pink side, and I'm living for it. You're gonna have to let me know at the end which is your favorite look. But for now, let's jump into look number three. Third and final look, and I'm excited. I'm gonna dive into some more colors from this palette. Let's have a look. I wanna go full on Halloween colors today. Like, not that I haven't already, but I want to incorporate maybe the orange, the green, maybe a little bit of the purple. That is the vibe that I'm feeling for today. I'm excited for this third and final look, guys. I've been singing the song from Nightmare Before Christmas whilst I've been putting my bass on, getting ready for this video. <laughs> I am so ready for spooky season, it is unreal. Okay, some people might think we are a little bit early, you know, it's not October yet, I don't care. I love everything pumpkin spice. I like spooky season i like just fall in general autumn whatever you want to call it wherever you're from apart from the spiders not the spiders no you can keep the spiders okay so i think what i want to do is start out with the orange which is called haunted here and i think i'm just going to use like a little detail brush and do kind of like a wingy thing cut creasy thing you'll see you'll see let me just mark it all out with this orange i'm just kind of keeping my eye relaxed and open and seeing where i want this to go it doesn't matter what is beneath i'm just more looking at the top portion something like this something like this now I've kind of got a shape on I'm just going to start to blend and wiggle on the very edge the top edge of this orange line and then we'll go in with a slightly fluffier brush and just Try and work on a blend and I might incorporate some of the white as well just to tickle on the very edge of this just to make the blend really nice and then I'm going to go in and cut underneath so it's a nice sharp line underneath but this top I just want to make sure it's nice and blended then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the white just 
just a little bit and just tickle over the edges of this orange. I'm going to take a little bit of my P. Louise Cut Carver, which is just a little bit like Vaseline, and I'm going to pop a little bit out onto a little palette, and I'm going to use a flat brush, and I'm going to carve out and cut where I want this nice straight line to be underneath, and that will just remove all the makeup super easily. Okay, so that looks a little bit like this. Then I'm going to go in with one of my Attitude Cosmetics Cake It Water Activated Liners. This specific shade you can't get anymore, and it's in the shade Elevate, but it's just a nice shimmery green, and I've got plenty of it, and I love it, so I'm going to use it up. And I've got a little pot of water and my little tiny thin liner brush from Amazon and I'm just going to line underneath that orange, hopefully neatly. Okay, a little something like this. That is reflective and pretty. I'm not sure how well it's coming across on camera, but now I need to prime underneath that for more shadows. Okay, we are primed again and we're going to have some cold coffee. Now I want to go into the purple again, I think in the outer corner and then maybe leading into this nice green called Scream. So I'm gonna take purple, which is Cauldron. Again, what an amazing shade. And I'm gonna start plopping this in the outer corner area. That is stunning. Then I'm just gonna start wiggling little bits of that purple gently and very carefully up towards that liner. Then I'm gonna go into the green, the nice grungy green, which is called Scream. And just continue that toward the inner corner part of this cut crease. And don't worry, we're gonna be putting a lot of shimmers on. Don't you worry, but these tones together, it just screams Halloween. Then I'm going to take the orange shimmer, which is called Pumpkin, and it looks so reflective and it's got so many different tones. It's beautiful. And I have put a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer on again. And I haven't really thought about this. I didn't plan this out. Are you getting that from this look so far? <laughs> but, oh, that actually looks a lot more green on the eye than in the pan. You can definitely see orange and green in it. It is such a beautiful shade. Oh. Then I think I'm gonna go into a little bit of the purple shimmer again, which is called Treat, just to lead into that matte purple. And it'll make the transition a little bit easier and the blend a little bit smoother. And for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into a little bit more of the murky sort of green shade that leads into that purple. And then I get a chance to use on the lower lash line, the gorgeous bright green shimmer. Very, very pretty. That would have been nice all over the lid as well. Like, aren't you impressed that I didn't just stick this bright green shimmer all over my lid? Okay, let me jump off, finish up this last look, and I'll come back, show you the final look, and we'll discuss this palette. This is the final look, guys. The third and final look, and I have to say I love it just as much as the other looks. I added some things, let's just say, I added some things. Let me go through it. I did pop a little bit of black just in the outer corner just because I wanted that slight bit more depth and I did pop a little bit of the white in the inner corner. These are the Pound Lashes in the style Euphoria. They are 4D lashes and I do have a code with Pound Lashes. If you want to use that, thank you for supporting my channel. It is affiliated. I love Pound Lashes. So, so affordable and you can still get more of a discount with my code. In my waterline, I used the P. Louise Acid Rain Paint in the sh shade, I nearly said style, Ibiza and Limelight, um, obviously the green near the inner portion, and then going into the purple, so it just matched with the shadows really nicely. I did also use a little bit of this purple just to line the witch's hat, you know, like the middle bit? Like, yeah. And anything that you see that is black and detailed, including the witch's hat, I did use my ABH liquid liner because it's amazing, it's precise, it stays where you put it. I really like that. I did also use a little bit of my W7 Metal Flash Metallic Eyeliner. I think this is the iridescent one. 
yeah this is the one in iridescent just to add a few little dabs and I did use some more of my green sparkly liner that I used earlier just to do some little look things happen little sparkly extra things happened then my lips are a combination of the Makeup Academy lip liner in Glam I had to check because sometimes I use eyeliners for lip liners and I don't recommend that but that is sometimes what I do but that one actually is a lip liner and then for the center of the lips I did use the well it says alien cosmetics on the packaging it's now not alien cosmetics it's unearthly cosmetics did this lip gloss it's like purple with a bit of a bluey reflect I think this came in the after dark collection I want to say and it's in glint and I just thought it would go real nicely with this look so guys you have seen all three looks and you need to let me know your favorite I'm trying to think of a favorite myself and I'm like I did really like look number one. Look number two did surprise me. I don't know. Maybe this one encapsulates Halloween for me the most out of all three. So maybe I'll go with this one. But I just really like the shimmers and the way they go together on the lid and the green leading into that gorgeous purple. I'm just, mmm, mmm. Let's talk about palette. I think you know what I'm going to say by now. And I have to say, I love the owner, Christina. She is fantastic. I talk to her on and off when we're not super busy and she is the sweetest however having said that Christina aside this palette is amazing it is actually the best palette I've seen released for spooky season color story wise packaging wise and everything and I've seen a lot of spooky releases that are coming out or are already out this is by far my favorite color story so I am so fortunate that I got sent this in PR like thank you so much to Christina and Gourmand Girls obviously you could see how much I enjoyed these shadows like I don't need to tell you the pigment was there blendable I had no fallout like I go in with a heavy hand I'm using blacks I'm using purples I'm using reds no fallout guys like what's happening and those shimmers absolutely spectacular you are not picking up on camera or should I say my camera is not picking up just how spectacular and reflective and different that they are. Like some are duochromes slash multi-chromes. They're just super special shades. I didn't even get around to using Trick. Like what is wrong with me? It's kind of a greeny got. Oh, and I've just seen pink in it as well. Okay, if you have the Pastel Roses Pigment Autumn Love, if you wanted that in a shimmer shade, hello. Wow, that was intense. Now I'm regretting my life choices. Now I wish I'd stuck that all over my face. Okay, colour story. 10 out of 10. And you do even have a brown in here for anybody that needs a brown. I do not need a brown. But if you do need a brown in your life, I'm not judging you. I need greens in my life. Um, and we have... We just... I... Okay, I'm going to say it. This is the best palette that Gourmand Girls have ever done. Absolutely my favourite. Well done to Christina and Doodles by the Bunny because this little collaboration has knocked it out of the park for spooky season and I am actually obsessed. I need to use this more. Sometimes with a palette, I won't want to use it again after filming. I've got other things coming in, more exciting stuff, new things. I won't need any reminders to use this palette and go back to this. I'm actually going to be doing a live with this on my channel with two of my very, very good friends. We're all going to be using Gourmand Girls products. But I will be digging this palette out and that is going to be on Saturday, the 24th of September. We are in September at 4pm UK time if you want to join. So please do check that out. Don't forget, if you want to pick this palette up and you want to save some pennies, please do use the code Kerry by all means or anybody else's code. Save some pennies on it. It is affiliated. So if you do use my code, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really does help me out. I, what else can I say? I absolutely love this palette. Literally. I, I think I've said it all. The colour story, the packaging, the pigment, the blendability, the no fallout, the intense shimmers. If you need a reminder of when this palette is going to be available, any of the details of anything that I've used in these videos, I will try my very best to link everything that I've used in the description box down below. If you think that there is anything missing or there's something that I've forgotten, please do let me know in the comments and I will try and rectify that. I love this look. I, I do have to go on the school run later and I'm thinking to myself, maybe a tad early for this look on the school run. If you enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up guys and if this is the sort of content that you enjoy please do consider subscribing thank you so much for joining me for this video i had a blast doing these three looks with this amazing palette 
Like I say, don't forget to check out my live on Saturday and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.